Hey guys. How are ya? Hey, we found this uh, awesome farm over here and um, they raise Dexter cattle. Mm -hmm. And we're interested in Dexter cattle because we have a small farm. Yeah. And they eat less than um, other cows, your, your big breeds of, you know, your Holsteins and Angus and these guys uh, consume less food. And so we're, um, we're over here, we're going to take a look at them and check them out. We're going to learn more about them. Yeah, and I'm really excited too um, to learn more about these Dexters because I've heard that their disposition is really good um, and that they're just a much better cow to deal with because of their size and, and everything. So it's going to be really fun and I hope you guys enjoy this. All right, let's get to let's it. Let's do it. Jake, I've got a question for you. Sure. What's the hardest thing about farming? Or well, you know, I think I think what makes these guys that and gals and families that are successful at, at lifestyles like this is being ahead of the curve. Know what's coming, ha kind of have a time schedule, kind of have a plan, know how much feed you need to put up, know that they have a place of shelter and water and f you know their diets taken care of. <clears throat> and these folks that do a good job of it, they stay ahead of the curve. They're thinking about next spring. What are they going to be doing next spring when they're going into this winter like you? What's the big thing? What's the next big step? So it's hard when you're behind the curve. It's hard when you don't have enough feed in the barn and it's cold and snowy and you're shopping for feed and paying a premium dollar to get your hands on it. All of a sudden that's hard. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard when your calves are scattered out if you don't want them scattered out. It's hard when you can't, don't have the facilities to handle your animal and doctor it if you need to. Right. Um, it's hard when you don't have a plan for how are you building your herd and how are you um, culling and reducing your herd and you, you end up with too many animals and they, they're on top of each other and they're not healthy or you don't have enough, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think, I think being successful means staying ahead of the curve. Just thinking ahead. It's all relative to individuals. What's your plan? How do you want to approach it? What do you want to look like? Um, you're not going to get a lot of resistance in a community like this from folks. They're all going to support you and smile and say you're doing a good job and want to help out. And so that's advantageous. Mm -hmm. We're in a real good community yeah. where there's a lot of support that way. But I would say that's probably, and it's the only thing that makes it hard is if you don't, if you make it hard. If you do your work ahead of time and you do your planning ahead of time and you think about what you want and you adjust and, you know, use a little math and then I think what you think about is what you get. Okay. And, and if it's, if it's going to be difficult, it's because you haven't thought about it and haven't made a good enough plan. you into Dexters and not um, another breed? So what got us into Dexters was we had a few uh, beef bred cattle, you know, larger cows. We bought one and built up a herd of about five. We had some really good help from friends and, and family around and got to the point where they were a little more to handle and eating a little more than we wanted. Um, and so, you know, out of it was putting us in that position where we had too much and under and not enough. You know what I mean? And yet the market, we're competing with everyone else. It's the same market. So um, the Dexters were a diverse choice. Um, we like to have a little diversity on the farm, you know. Um, they're a tri-purpose cow. Well, we were downsizing, so you can get milk, meat, and oxen power out of them. They have a they have a tendency to have more of a gentle disposition and a, a little better um, handling capability. You know what I mean? Mm. Like I say, you know, two two folks can wrangle a Dexter calf to the ground if they need to to doctor on mm -hmm. it. You can do that with a rope and and work on it. Where you get a 300, 400, 500 pound calf or a mother cow beef bred, 
and get your rope on her, good luck. You're just not going to be able to do it yeah. without a post. So that was that was appealing to us. <clears throat> um, uh, less feed consumption was appealing to us. The reading said they had really good r yields on their on their carcass to beef ratio, and our experience has been that's accurate. They they have a tendency to yield about as well as uh, most beef breeds. They won't yield as well as a beef br run through a feedlot fed corn, mm -hmm. but it's all relative. Are you what are you really yielding? Are you yielding fat? All the way through, you pay more per pound, you pay more to package it, to store it in your freezer, and a lot of people cut it off and don't eat it. Some people eat it. So, um, the milk and that capability, the if times get tough, the ability to halter break one and move her down a fence line for feed or have a kid handler and milker, or, um, we do have a few to do, you know? so. Uh, but we've not been displeased with the with the milk. We don't milk them all summer, but we've done it just enough to have a few that we're capable of milking if we okay. need. So, I love the system he has here. They go out in the field. They've got all that room to roam around. They have grass. Um, they have a place they can come into out of the weather, keep dry. And probably one of my favorite things is the way he has his feeding system. Is they they come through the aisle. Come through here. And they get to eat whatever they want, whenever they want. I like that system. I know it probably wastes a little bit more on the ground, but it seems it seems very easy. I'd pay a few dollars for easy. So I think I'd like to incorporate this in our farm. Let me know what you guys think, put it down in the comments, and uh, you're helping me design this too. Uh, well I want to point something out is free choice feed and they're not lined up constantly eating it. Nobody's out here eating it right now. So that's, I like your system, I like that. Oh, yeah. And we run these bigger bales because I can come over and feed these cattle for, you know, 30 minutes once a week. And, uh, and these bales last, you know. I mean, when I do my math, I do my math on 20 pounds a head per day. And I think that's fair. Come on. Stick. I'm gone. Back. Back. Um, so we kind of, oh, I got one stuck in there. A board broke on my feeder, holy criminy. I better hurry and go fix this situation. Come here, kid. So the board broke right there. It's getting in there on the hay and from my research, what I know, that goats don't like to eat hay that's been pooped on by other goats. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. It might be in the way, come back up. They were being bad. <laughs> Sorry. This is good for everybody to know. 
So our cha oh, bad lighting. Better, 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 gooder. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what you know about our channel, but our channel is is that the uh, YouTubers, the the um, subscribers, pick what we get, and I've been going back to Dexter's quite a bit. Like I say, you're our third. Um, Dexter Farm we've gone to it's very appealing to me with the we have a uh, eight acres farm and so just seems like uh, a smaller breed cattle grazing on the, our pasture it makes sense so again that's for you guys to vote and uh, but we'll put it out there yeah and uh, sure appreciate you giving uh, giving us a lot of info on on Dexter cattle and well, uh, I'm no expert. Some of it may not be entirely accurate, so your own due diligence. Do you that's right. Research? There's a disclaimer. <laughs> disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right, guys. Um, do your research, and uh, if leave it down in the comments. Um, uh, we're we're just kind of what winging it out yeah. here. We're we're not set up with laptop and googling every question. So I do appreciate that. And uh, giving us your time and um, beautiful cows, gorgeous cows, and goats too. Look at them all. Uh -oh.